We're live. It's Monday. I look like Thor the Sailor or something today. <laughs> what do you look like today? Hmm? What is life doing for you today? Not to you, for you. Let's start from the beginning. You opened your eyes and took a breath. That means you're still here. Life did that for you. Let's continue on. You had a cup of coffee, maybe some breakfast. Life did that for you. It's all perspective when you're working in the inner work, when you're doing inner work. Inner work is the hardest work because all the little things in your mind, these deflectors, the active block, what we call them, are working on you the whole time. And it's hard. It requires a lot of concentration. And it requires you to do things over and over and over and over again. So you get it right. But what happens when doing it over and over and over again doesn't change anything? What happens when that sh thought you're having or that anxiety attack at 3 o'clock in the morning, give or take 10 minutes, every night happens? How do you stop that? Self-medicate? Maybe pop some pills? Maybe you hold back on your pain medicine so you can take extra, keep you good and asleep. But that don't work either. Your internal clock system wakes you up and connects you. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for stopping. We're working with inner work this week. On my Facebook uh, news feed, I put a link to a free ebook for all of you guys. Go to Evolutionary Healer, see our process. On the right side there, there's a, you leave your name and email or something. And you get a book, an ebook. Okay? That ebook talks about the journaling and the self -pat re patterning, the inner work that must be accomplished after a CR session. And it's fascinating to read. Fascinating. Well, I'm supposed to say, you like my doo doo? I just got my hair cut and changed, changed my hair cut. Yeah. Now I look like the old professor, huh? Do I look like the old professor? <laughs> look old, that's for sure. <laughs> We're talking about inner work. The CR Journal, the free ebook at www.evolutionaryhealer.com. Go to the CR process page for those of you who are not my Facebook friends. Um, for those of you who are my Facebook friends, share that post to other people along with this so that they can see it. Hi, Rita. And download that because I'll tell you folks, you or people you love are looking for answers. And they may find some in there. And even if they don't find any answers, Something's going to click on the inside like, I like what these guys are saying. There's something to this. Okay. Great haircut. Thank you. That's my do. So, what do you do about that? Three o'clock in the morning. Boom. Instant panic attack. Or you wake up dripping in sweat from night terrors. What do you do about that? Those are all repetitive behaviors. We know at Evolutionary Healer and at Earth Wind Academy that behaviors can be modified. They can be modified quicker and permanently if they have the voluntary support of the, of the client in their self rip pattern. So we have them self repattern. I don't give you mantras. I can give you mantras all day long. 
You might even like to say them 50,000 times. But guess what? You don't own them. They're not yours. But you come up with a mantra and you say them regularly and you shut off the, the boogeyman. You shut off the repetitive thoughts because that's what we do. We find the place where the controller for repetitive thoughts is being hidden from you since early childhood. And you have control of that. You have control of your destiny. You have control of who you really are. And so the inner work gets a lot easier because after the CR process goes through, and for many months thereafter, depending on how bad your life has been, for some of us, really bad. Uh, some of my clients, lifelong alcoholics, lifelong victims, being beat up. Can you imagine being beat up all the time? Even being beat up in the, in the line at your high school graduation? And the bullies just laugh at you? You got to somehow get blood off your face so your mom don't see it so you can go through graduation, get your diploma. What is that? Well, those bullies didn't start out being bullies. They were bullied and abused severely. Well, we're not going there today. We talk about inner work. You know, I teach all the time, especially for those of you who follow me regularly. Read as one. I teach you cannot give what you do not have. And you don't, you don't need to expect to get what you are not willing to give. Okay? So, here's an example. If I don't love myself, I can't give true love to someone else. And so they cannot give true love back to me. The result? Failed marriages. Failed relationships. Lose the loss of great friends. We got a Jenny on here. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for stopping. Now let's back that up a little bit. When you're doing the inner work and you start to love yourself and believe, it, things change because love will come out of you. Like minded people vibrating in the same. Uh, vibrational level as you will start showing up and they're real people they can see you now maybe the love of your life will show up then you start giving this love out well those people that you are now attracting because you're giving your genuine love out will give you genuine love back and usually a lot more of it back to you than you give out I'm not sure I believe all of that because I think condition, unconditional love is constant. Conditional love varies, but unconditional love, you give out unconditional love because you love yourself. Good things are happening around you. Good things will start happening around you. Wow, what a nice fall day in my mountain in Asheville, North Carolina. Inner work. Now let's talk about the other side of this. The side you probably know very well. You don't love yourself. So you don't have genuine love for yourself. Best you can do is like yourself a little bit now and then. So what happens when you try to give love to somebody? It too is sporadic. And it's not genuine. And it's not consistent. So the person you're giving whatever you give to will be vibrating at a different level. And they won't stay around. Yeah, some of them may stick around like I did. 32 years at my first marriage. You know? I was one of those who inconsistently loved me. So I inconsistently loved my first wife. Therefore... She gave me inconsistent love back. Now, did she play around on me or anything like that? I doubt it. I really do. I doubt it. We were never complete for more than 
a couple of months at a time. We'd be fighting and doing stuff. Go see a marriage counselor. Love, love and rosy and everything sweet for another two, three months, six months. Right back at it again. You know what that is? That's called repetitive behavior. Her and I. But what am I doing to my kid? I'm teaching her repetitive behaviors. Okay? I love my daughter to death. She is daddy's girl. Period. She's in her 40s. I'm an old guy, remember. I'm 20, 63. 20. Whoa. I'm 63. So, how do you change that? Well, repetitive behavior cellular regression will change that, for sure. Maybe you get a mentor. Did someone like me? Maybe it's me if, if this is vibrating properly for you. If you want to have a talk about that, be glad to. Contact me here or look up Terry Earthwind Nichols. Google me. You'll find me all over the place. I'm an open book. When you work with me, I'm going to tell it to you like it is. I'm not going to be mean to you. I'm not going to be soft on you. I'm just going to give it to you like it is. Okay? Working with a mentor is not working with a life coach. It's not working with any type of coach. It's not consulting work. When you work with a mentor, they're teaching you what they've learned when you need to learn it. Yeah. When you need to learn it. What does that mean? Maybe you are ready to learn about stepping up on the stage and talking your story or your company. Or maybe it's just standing up in front of a staff meeting because you're not ready or you think you are. So what we do is have a conversation around that. I don't talk you into it, and I don't talk you out of it. Those are your choices. See, there's no good choices or no bad choices, simply choices. What happens after you make the choice can certainly go either way. I don't acknowledge either. Because you know what? You're human. You're capable of making a new choice. So if it turns out, in your opinion, to be a bad choice, make a new choice. I've done it many times. I've made choices that I thought were excellent choices at that time. Later on, I found out a lot of information that I was not given prior to me making that decision that embarrassed me and embarrassed my company. Life goes on. Some people can't handle that. Sometimes it can't handle it to a point where they fire you. I've been fired a few times. I've quit a few times. And I've had some fabulous successes. Because when you really get down to it, you either excel at what it is that you've decided to do, whatever that is, in a game of cards. It doesn't matter. Or you learn. Okay? Six and a half years ago, uh, six years and ten months ago, I created Repetitive Behavior Cellular Regression. Starting in the summer of 2012, when my wife joined me in, in, in further developing this, along with my other practitioners and master practitioners, I entered into a journey. And let me tell you, I have learned a lot, many times over just a few days ago. Okay? I sent a brilliant proposal to a government entity and through follow-up a couple months later I spent a lot of money on it too. I mean, this was first class. Very first class proposal. A couple months later, as I'm doing the follow-up, I finally get a conversation with some, one of the key players I sent it to. They never got it. 
And they told me why. Because there is a policy in the mail room. Now, I tracked it to the mail room. The mail room got it. Okay? There's a policy in the mail room. Screen all unsolicited mail and throw it in the trash. Never went in there. What do you mean? What does that mean to you? Well, we're going to talk about it all week. And we're going to talk more mm -hmm. about inner peace. Um, as, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Everybody, please share this on your Facebook page. There's a lot of people looking for answers out there about the stuff going on in their life. And that ebook is really cool. Okay? And, you know, look me up. If, if you're not a Facebook friend of mine, look me up and, and, and find me on Facebook and look through my news feed. You'll, you'll find that post that has, um, in fact, I'll put right in this uh, recording after I do it. The link to the because a lot of people should be reading it. Okay. So between now and Wednesday, here's what I want you to do. Go back to that famous mirror in the bathroom. We go there a lot, don't we? For those of you who follow me regularly. Because when you look into the face of that person in the mirror, you can't lie to them. They are you. There's no lying there. You can consciously lie to them, but you cannot unconsciously lie to them. Look in that mirror and say, I want to love you. I have love for you. And I'm figuring it out. It's a neutralization wording that we use. I'll just say it once here. I love you and I forgive you so I can love me and forgive me. That's not a sentence. It's designed that way. That's what's said to a perpetrator or somebody who has abused a child. <clears throat> and here's the lesson for you today. If somebody hurts you, love them for being on their own journey. Because their journey is none of your business. And forgive them. They don't usually don't know what they've done. Or even if they do, they're acting out the way they've been taught. So you can love you and forgive you for being upset at, at a person whose conduct hurt you in some way. And then take a moment and ask yourself, why did you get mad? What is the memory in the back of my mind that comes to mind that made me react that way. Made you, yeah, absolutely. Because you don't have any control of them. Those are repetitive behaviors. We're going to teach you that after you go through the CR process. You want to talk to me about being a, uh, being a mentoree? Great. Look, reach out to me at evolutionaryhealer.com or right here on Facebook. For those of you who uh, don't know about evolutionaryhealer.com because of this is being shared, Google Terry Earthwind Nichols. And you'll find out all you want to know about me. That's it for today, my friends. What a day it is. I hope it's a good day for you. It's been a really good day for me. See you Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern.